Hey folks, welcome back to another video. There's one device that people keep asking me about all the time in forums and emails or in the comments here on my YouTube channel. And this device is called the drum bus of Ableton Live. And a lot of people are used to this device, how it sounds on drums in Ableton Live, and they want to keep using it inside of Bitwig Studio. But in Bitwig, we don't have the drum bus device. So here's my offer. It's basically a preset that you can download for free for Bitwig Studio that does almost the same thing inside of Bitwig Studio with native devices okay but first i want to show you how it looks like inside here of able live so this is the drum bus down here uh, this is how it looks like it is more or less like a bunch of distortion devices or overdrive devices here we have a drive knob we have here a selector where we can select between different uh, wave shaping of options, soft clipping or medium limiting clipping and hard clipping. There's here a trim knob where you can change the input volume. There's a compressor involved, but you can't change the attack and decay. So it's fixed. Also ratio and um, the threshold is fixed. Um, so with this drive knob, you basically drive the drums into this clipper here. So this, this is the first stage. Um, the second stage is then here this crunch knob, which also increases the volume additionally, driving it again into a soft clipper or soft saturation uh, stage. Then we have here damping, which is more or less a low pass or a high cut. Uh, we can increase here the transients. Then we have here a boom knob. This boom knob increases kind of the low end of kick drums. Or you can even add low end to kick drum so it synthesizes uh, the low end then you can change the frequency of this low end so you can very specific about the frequency that your kick drum has a low end or a sub um, then you have a decay which is more or less like a feedback for this uh, bandpass filter here and yeah that's basically it so we have here an eq uh, analyzer on that and you can already see that without actually touching here any knob so comp is, uh, is off then there's soft clipping on but the drive knob is all the way down crunches down so it already adds here a smiley curve on loudness curve to the signal right if you switch this off this is how it looks like without the device if you put this on you can see it brings in already a lot of coloration here it's a bump here at 4.5 kilohertz and this is here at 160 hertz so it brings in a lot of warmth and also increases the loudness here of uh, the hi-hats or the top end of the drums so this is probably what people already love about the drum bus this coloring so you don't need to add a lot of eqing to the drums it's it's coming from the plug-in itself without doing too much and then you have here a hard clipping and then you can drive it and make it louder right you can drive then this color, uh, colored uh, signal into a clipper and then after this you can also um, add here another crunch or let's say soft clipper to the middle to the mid range here uh, you can increase the transients and you can add here you can see this here maybe increase this right you just add low end here at a specific frequency with this boom knob and then you can change here the frequency. Um, can you change? Oh, you can change this here. Okay. So yeah, you can uh, decide what kind of center frequency you want for this uh, peak down here. So this is how the drum bus kind of works. Oh, there's also a dry and wet uh, signal if you want to. You can mix in the dry signal again. So this is how it looks like in Ableton Live. I tried to replicate this. I also created an um, impulse response for this, um, yeah, for this curve here, for the smiley curve, for this um, coloring bump or EQ bump. So I exactly get the same thing inside of Bitwig Studio. So here in Bitwig, we have um, addictive drums. Um, let me play this here. This is Maybe put the peak limiter here on the master. Okay, so 
So after addictive drums, we then load in here the drum bus. Let's put this in. And we already get this coloring now on the drums. Um, Then you can see here we have a drive knob. We can change between soft, medium, and hard um, clipping the curve. We have a compressor here. We have the crunch knob. We can increase the transients. We have here uh, the center frequency for the low end boost, boost, and also here this boom knob to increase the loudness and also here something for the transients. Okay, so I play around with this on this drums uh, on this drum loop here. You can see how it sounds. Okay. One benefit of this preset is that you can use now here the sweat gain learning knob so we can um, match the loudness of the drum bus output with the input gain right so you can uh, then kind of decide if you like actually the sound of the drum bus or not without having this difference between the loudness of the input and output signal Um, in this preset here, there are some differences to the drum bus inside of Ableton Live. Of course, I need to make some creative decisions here and there, but I try to match basically the, the feel and what this preset does to the drums to the device of Ableton Live. So what I want from you is that you download this preset and that you give me feedback what you don't like and what you like. Maybe you like this preset even more, or maybe you don't like it at all, what it does. Maybe it does too much to the drums. Um, it's too dirty. I don't know. So please give me feedback on this because I want to change it in the future, tune it to, um, to your taste because a lot of people love this device inside of Ableton Live, right? And I want to make these people more or less happy. For myself, I just use random uh, distortion on drums right to match the drums to my liking but i know a lot of people like the feel of this drum bus um, device inside of able live and i want to match it to their taste right so please give me feedback download this i said uh, already said this is free to download so the link is in the description below just click the link or go to my github page or i think it's also at some point on bitvikas.com um so yeah that's that's my question to you i think um that's it for this video thanks for watching please hit me up with some new suggestions for new devices that you want to have replicated some already post very complicated devices that are not really possible sometimes some devices rely completely on the ui right so most of the things is done in the UI and the underlying effect is not that strong or not, not that complicated. So some of these devices are not possible to replicate, of course, but I try my best. And when I think maybe there's an opportunity there, I keep or get inspired by these suggestions and then I come up with something different or more creative that does kind of the same thing. So. It's something I really like to do. Um, I have fun doing it and um, it's also a nice content source for my channel, of course. 
So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and bye.